so today's video I'm gonna show you how to do movie recording from your iPhone to your iMac using OBS Studio and the QuickTime player so this app are all free especially QuickTime player this is um, built in by Apple and the OBS Studio are going to download this so you need to go to the Chrome and then we'll search OBS uh, Studio so here you will um, also install <laughs> Studio so OBS Mac Studio Mac that one and then here you can see on the bottom the very bottom we need to use this one OBS Mac installation OBS so click on that one and then this download OBS Studio and of course it's already highlighted because we're using um, Apple so I am going to download this Intel because my iMac is um, Intel so we're going to see so all your download will be here so double click and then drag your OBS all the way to application and then let go and so it's right here application so now our obs should be on our screen so now you can see here our obs is right here so we can go ahead and open obs and then it says is an app download from the internet are you sure do you want to open it then tap open So now this is our OBS look like, which is I'm already here because I had this before, but I can go ahead and delete all of this so that we can walk through to the process, all of them. Okay, this uh, scene area, oh, this is for my gaming. So I'm gonna delete this so that we can start from the scratch. Right, remove, remove. Oh, it won't let me to remove because I need to have a, at least one. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so this is the OBS what it looked like. And the second thing that we need to have is the QuickTime player. So you need to open QuickTime player. The QuickTime player, I just uh, let it stay on my dock. But if you don't know how to check, it should go to your launch pad on your left side. Launch pad. And then the quick template should be in the other says this file right here other and the quick template should be there so every time you open quick template you can see this uh, white box right here but we know that we don't we don't need this one so let's just cancel that and let's go ahead to the bottom which is the quick template app and then right click to it and then you need to use the new movie recording Okay, so every time you tap new, new movie recording, you can see your uh, face right there because you did not connect your phone yet. So we have to connect our phone. So now let's go ahead and connect our phone. Okay, so this is the USB-C cable that you need to connect your phone to the Mac. So this is go behind your Mac and this is one for your phone. The phone is connected now we need to tap this down um, button here and you need to use your screen from your iPhone and then so I can show you my game or right, does the game look like so all right again this uh, down down button and you need to use your screen from your iPhone and the speaker from your iPhone so the last thing that people forgot they cannot hear the background music is because this one is not on so you need to turn that up the volume needs to turn up so that you can hear the sound and also and where's my OBS okay right here so that I can show you and then also your phone needs to turn on the Bluetooth and this one here needs to be 
sound, not silence. So turn this up, you know, this little button here needs to turn up so that we can hear a sound. It's, if it's n if you're not going to turn that up, you cannot hear anything because it will be silent. And the second thing is you need to go to the settings. So settings and then you need to go to the sound and your output make sure that you use the iMac speaker and then the input this is like our microphone so don't use iMac, mi iMac microphone because it will give you an echo so you need to use the different type of source from outside not the built-in one me i use monu this one that i'm using from from youtube so okay go back to our quicktime player so this is our quick time player look like again don't forget to turn this up so that you can hear so that you can hear the background music see that that's my background music from my game but i can turn that down a little bit so again that volume and then the screen should be from your iphone and the speaker from your iphone too so that you can hear the background music from your phone because if you want to do play your game and then you want and you want to do the live streaming so the audience can hear you the fans can hear you you need to make sure that you turn that on speaker from your iphone and the screen from your iphone too all right that's it so let me turn this down Okay, now we, we can go ahead and go back to the, the the OBS. So this is the OBS screen right here. So we will make a new scenes so that I can show you how to do the screen right there and the camera and the microphone, how to add them. So I can put add we need to add a new one i can put this one as a test test and enter okay now so this is our test so first thing we are going to um click the the plus button and then we will add our microphone so you can name there whatever you want me i just leave it open because it's only for example so and then tap okay and in the device my microphone is the mono so you need to use again different uh, source that way you can have like a good background good sound it's not like echoing or something so i highly recommend that you need to buy you know something like that from amazon the microphone that we can do for live streaming this mono microphone this is cheap one but it's good i, I had this like almost a year now so okay just mono and then okay and then another add button for our um, screen capture so mac os screen capture and then again you can change the name here whatever you want but me i just leave it open like that whatever the name is because it's only for the test and then okay so now let's do a window capture and then we will use quicktime movie recording because this is from our phone so Quick time player, move recording, and then okay. So now here, this is what it look like, and as you can see, the screen are not full in the window. So what we do, we need to do to right click, and then you need to go to transform, and you will choose the switch to screen. Okay, now everything is in there. You can see everything from my screen. Now from my screen, you can see everything there. And then let's add our camera so this is gonna be the video capture device and okay and then here I'm going to use um, I'm going to use my camera which is the pro webcam C920 I use this in Amazon you can buy this really really easy and it's cheap too so I use this one as my camera because I can see I mean you can see clear it's not buffering because if I use the iMac camera it's not that good quality so that's why I had the C920 okay all right so everything here we can drag this to there 
in that way you cannot see my other background there so let's drag like that and then make sure that you tap the video capture device before you tap the filters okay because we want to use a chroma key so let's tap uh, filters and then let's add here and then choose the chroma key and okay and then now our screen is gone so and then close so now you can see me only you, you cannot see anything from my background earlier that you have my printer and my other boxes right there so you can only see my chair and of course the the back is the display from our phone so you can go ahead and lock that in that way you cannot touch anything so if you want to eat it again you can get an unlock that make sure that your capture device is always on top because if it will be on on the bottom they cannot see you so that's why the video capture device always on top we have everything done let's lock that one we need to make this as a habit to lock our sources so now you can go ahead and do your live streaming so if you want to do your live streaming to to youtube to facebook which is uh, available in obs so just go to settings and then here stream so you can choose here youtube twitch restream uh, twitter so you can get and choose that one me i use facebook live and then after that okay so we need to go to our facebook page because i use my facebook page but if you want to do your own facebook to live that's fine by me i use my my um fb page so when you go there this is gonna be what it look like on your home you can see this go live create event so you, you, you need to tap go live And it will be loading and then this is your stream stream key so copy your stream key and then you need to paste all the way here Control V that's a paste and then okay so now you copy and paste your stream key there you should be able to start streaming and then start streaming and then you can see here it will be connected okay so now you can see me here it's connected right now so you can go ahead and and you know put the title about your live. I will go test and then test and then save. So now you can go ahead and go live. That's it. Very simple. All right, everyone. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions and if you want me to do something, just go ahead and comment it down below. Thank you and bye-bye.